What's up everybody? This is Harry and I wanted to give you my latest update on my dome project build. So recently I made my own air creep pump or at least I was calling my own air creep pump. Um, it was using air pressure. <clears throat> so there were some hazards to this which I expected but yesterday while successfully pumping air creep into the dome um, the pressure became too much for the lid which is something I expected which is why I was putting bricks and ratchet straps to hold the pressure down because the lid was my weakest point it would uh, let air out and once the air began escaping the pressure needed wasn't enough to continue pumping but I did successfully pump uh, about 500 pounds of cement and sand mix into the dome using my method and this here that's what I keep stepping on this here is the aircrete so this is the dome shell the original shell built first and this which is about four inches here was my aircrete insulation so you can see I got about eight inches uh, from the floor and it's about four inches thick here and this is going all the way around here so that work and and this was my main idea my main concept was using air creep and pouring it into an air form a, a second form that will retain the air creep inside while it cures so that being my main idea it is a success it worked uh, I stopped here for two reasons number one was my pump failed because the lid was not strong enough to hold the air pressure that was contained in there uh, filling the barrel up to this point here it worked well it was pushing the air creed down the hose into the dome when I filled it higher I took away the cavity, the air space that was in there for the air pressure to continue pushing. And um, then my lid blew, my ratchet strap here, uh, between the friction of this stone and the air pressure just ripped. And that was two of them, sending this stone flying. So after that point I decided I was going to stop using this because uh, it was... Um, too close for comfort. Next time I build something like this, I'll put the valve far away <laughs> from the actual unit since it's all uh, me experimenting. Need to be a little cautious of flying bricks. But anyway, that went flying. The top blew off. So I stopped. But it did work. And what I decided I do need is a concrete pump. A traditional concrete pump. Uh, if this had been made of steel, if this was a steel tank, that could hold the pressure it would work great uh, it would continue using it but um, it's not made of steel the lid is very weak so I had to stop but um, in order to finish this I would need a concrete pump and um, I don't have a pump the pumps are very expensive which is the reason I invented this um, air pressure pump here so the other reason is the dome was meant to be temporary it was only to test my concept and idea of using a second air form to retain the air crete which has a high flow rate to retain the air crete against the inner dome which is structural so it's 100 percent success i just was not able to finish it because of my pump and uh, the expense of all the extra cement and sand I was going to need to build this. And this is a temporary structure. Uh, so anyway, I'm stopping here. But it is a success. And in a few days, I'll um, remove the two air forms so I can see how the air creek looks. Uh, but otherwise, that's it for now. Until I get another location where... I can build a dome permanently on someone's property and um, I get a cement mixer. I'm sorry, an aircrete pump, a cement pump. Anyway, um, 
That's it for now. It has been a success, but I have to stop at this point because of money. Anyway, peace out, everyone. Love you, and uh, I'll catch you in my next video.